Hello, everybody. This is Barry here. Today we're at Universal, hanging out, getting some drinks with friends. I'm gonna be doing the princess. I said friends. Well, I think we're going to wait so you can come along with us. Remember to hit that subscribe button, and we will see you soon. So we stopped over at Jurassic Pop. Cause you know, that's original. And I got a pseudo Sue. Because we gotta get that dino. We gotta get that dino. We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. Oh. This is very florally and very hoppy. This is not really my jam. Two out of five pseudo Sue's? In case you had noticed in the Princess's wonderful reviews, if you're looking to provide sponsorships, we do accept alcohol sponsorships with no shame. We will sell out for those. Uh, so this pale ales always been kind of weird for me. Uh, but I like the dino. And it's got mango in it, so apparently it's pretty dangerous for me. I'm gonna try it anyway. What's the worst gonna happen, right? You know? It's hoppy, but I don't hate it. It does have that that pale ale taste, but it's not as bad as say like um, like the Reef Donkey we've had at some other resorts at Disney. It's gonna take me a bit, but I think I can actually drink this. Three out of five plus. Do you hear? Do you hear it? Tapping the Rockies, Coors Light. This is refreshing. This is like a step above Bud Light. I will give this three out of five Rocky Mountains. The mountains are blue. It's for you. Coors Light, tried and true. Taking it day over Bud Light, so I'm not gonna complain about another option. Just spear switch. Killing me, literally. Feels like the Rockies. I mean, like three of these and more shade. Three and a half out of five plots. Slight edge over the pseudo Sue, but uh, it's Quartz Light. You can't really go wrong with Quartz Light. Yeah, this beautiful rum drink and you actually get a discount on refills with this cup you get three dollars off all you have to do is take a selfie with the cup or just bring the cup and there you go I'm gonna stir because there's a floater on top usually there's an edible orchid on here too but they were out I love this like Trader Sam vibe cup and it's plastic It's very sweet and delicious. I quite like this. It's very Mai Tai y. I would give it four out of five passion fruits. This is amazing. I don't want to share. I like the cup, even though it probably costs us three more dollars than it's worth. But seeing her pour alcohol in this thing, I could smell it through my mask. This is going to sneak up on you. Oh, it's so syrupy. Definitely covers up by the alcohol. And I'm not gonna lie, I actually do like the cup. I'm actually gonna let Princess keep this one. Three and a half out of five plus. And then Bear got the actual passion fruit mark. The, oh sorry, Bear got the guava mark. The um, team member that helped us out recommended mixing it with mango. Obviously, Bear's allergic, we're not gonna do that. But it is a recommendation if you wanna try it. Wow. 
This is really strong. There's whiskey in it. You can definitely taste it. I quite like it, but it's a little dangerous. I'm gonna give it three to five whiskeys. I love this stand has a wide variety of choices as far as your uh, frozen drinks slash margaritas. What I like better is that they have your choice of alcohol, tequila, vodka, rum, whiskey. Of course I went with whiskey. Whiskey and guava. We'll see uh, how good this is. That's most certainly Jack Daniels. Ooh. The guava? I think it goes quite well. Are they like after sweetness of Jack Daniels? Four to five plus. I do this again. anything with the spider on the can. I'm definitely afraid of spiders, even the fake ones. Just turn that that way so I can't see them. It's like juice. It's like wine in the can. It's not even beer. But tasty. But I feel like the hangover would be awful. Three out of five plus. Some IPA that I'm probably not going to like. Way too hot for As for this Tropicana orangey IPA thingy, looks like beer, but tastes like orange rind, like liquefied orange rind, if that's your thing. With a slight bit of hop at the end. I don't think I'd order that again. Two out of five plus. Who needs truly when you have and funky funky Buddha? So mule. I got a mule. The adventurous mule. liquor they put in it but it, it tastes like vodka and there's really not a lot of or any ginger beer it makes me a little sad it actually kind of tastes like pineapple juice but I'm still gonna drink it actually you know what I think it's guava juice it's not pineapple juice it's guava mm-hmm I'm sure this time it's guava mm -hmm. be smarter than us and drink water so the adventurous mule. Wow, that's carrying a lot, even for a mule. It's very light on the ginger beer. There's a lot of juices, but it does cover the alcohol well. I would say it's fairly drinkable. I kind of wish it was a little bit stronger though. Three out of five plus. Bear got this last time we did Confisco Grill. It's the mornings in Bali. I specifically remember the bartender breaking the glass of the last bottle of this liquor the last time we were here. It tastes like flowery lemonade. As for this mornings in Bali, if there's any else I'd rather be right now, it's not Florida. So. That's peak level refreshing. But I'd say equal to the adventurous meal. Three out of five plus. They're both duff-tastic. Duffman out. <laughs> 